Hello, my friends, and welcome. It is Friday, December 7th, 2018. It's drunk poker room time. It's beer time. It's beer advent day seven. Friday night lights, baby. How you doing? How's the Christmas season treating you so far? Are you doing well? I'm doing okay. I'm going to tell you that. Well, baby, this has been, uh, this will be the seventh consecutive cellar beer. Big ABVs all around. Excited to get into it. Another fantastic wrapping job by me, for me, to me, from me. Uh, let's get into it because I'm thirsty. Long day at work. I'm on day shift today. Day shift tomorrow. And then back to afternoons on Sunday. It's a bit of a screwy schedule, but it's a screwy time of the year. So let's get into this here. Hello. From our friends at Indie Ale House. Zombie Apocalypse 10% Imperial Stout. Picked up during the Pocapalooza 2018 trip. Oh my. Look at that, you can see the art, it's friggin' amazing. Um, I had this beer a year ago? A year and a half ago, let's say, I had it. I really liked it. So, there's sours, I have sours and, and stuff like that. Like, you know, not sours, not true sours. Wow, funky sours. Um, you know, Lambix and stuff like that in the, in, the, in the calendar. But I do love the big boozy stout, you guys know that, eh? And it's just a straight up imperial stout, not bourbon barrel aged, nothing like that. It's just a big, boozy, dark, dangerous mother effer. Once again, Indie Ale House. Oh. Uh, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Beautiful, that dark roasty notes. I mean, it's that coffee, dark chocolate. It, 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 I mean, it's ubiquitous. And I hate it because I wish I had better words. I don't. I probably should educate myself more. Um, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So, cheers. Beer Advent Day 7. Welcome. Indie Ale House. I, I think it's the first time I've ever had Indie Ale House in the, in the Advent calendar. So, that's pretty awesome. Cheers. I love it. It's it's a slow sipper, obviously. I mean, it's big, roasted malts, um, lots of dark coffee, dark chocolate, um, some smoke there, a little bit of, oh, what's the right word for that? It's not, it, a little bit of anise, a little bit of the black licorice notes in there, um, a little bit of fruitiness, dark fruit, eh, maybe a little bit. Uh, one second. I mean, for me, that's just, that's beautiful. That is, that's what an Imperial Stout should be. An Imperial Stout should be a beer that gives you that pause for a second. Like, oh, hey, how, how are you? How you doing? How you been? Hey, you know, and it just kind of stops your day, man. And that's all right. That, 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 that's the whole purpose. The beer, man, to enjoy. So sip it. I mean, yeah, that's great session. I love session beers too. They're fine. There's something to be said for raising a glass of big, heavy stout on a chilly day. Relaxing with the pretty lights and your kitty cat. Yeah. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your beer event day. Seven. Friday night. Maybe have a few more pints afterwards. Really have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Too many of these and I'd be a freaking zombie, but uh, yeah. That's all right. 